The president says Guantanamo Bay makes us less safe because terrorists use it as a propaganda tool. But terrorists use just about any type of military response as a propaganda tool. The burden is not on the American people to hand him one more legacy trophy. The burden is on him. A recent Republican response to the president's weekly radio address delivered there by Jackie Walorski of Indiana, where the congresswoman makes the case against President Obama's decision to close the prison at Guantanamo Bay. House Republicans aren't the only ones concerned. There's a healthy dose of concern among Republican senators as well. In fact, some GOP senators have just gotten back from a fact-finding trip to Getmo to take a look for themselves firsthand. Among those who went down to check it out at Getmo, the gentleman who joins us now via Skype from the Hart Senate Office Building in Washington, D.C. That would be Senator Steve Daines of Montana. Steve serves as a member of the Senate Committee on Appropriations. And uh, Steve, we always appreciate your time here on Newsmax Prime. Thanks, J.D. Good to be with you. You saw what happens there. Has it just reaffirmed your notion of keeping that place open? Absolutely. Two thoughts, and we were down there on Monday. I, I went down with Senator Gardner of Colorado, Senator Moran of Kansas, and myself. Two things. Number one, I was so, so proud of the men and women who wear the uniform of the United States Armed Forces who are doing a tremendous job keeping these enemy combatants, these terrorists, in their cells and in a location that will be secure. And they're doing a phenomenal job executing the mission. We should be very, very proud of how they are serving that mission faithfully at Guantanamo Bay. But number two, we should never allow these terrorists to be on the soils of the United States of America. Why do we want these terrorists in our backyards? We literally were looking into the cells of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, KSM. You know, one of the five masterminds of the 9-11 attacks are in Guantanamo Bay. They need to be kept in those cells we need to continue to move through the process and the justice is finally administered to, uh, to these terrorists. In fact, I would argue, J.D., there's plenty of vacancies down there. We should be continuing to take these terrorists, these enemy combatants, off the battlefield, put them in Guantanamo Bay so that it keeps our nation secure and ensures that these com enemy combatants never get back on the battlefield and are taking the lives of American soldiers again. Steve, you've co-sponsored an act that would prohibit the president from making any changes to the current status of our base at Gitmo without congressional approval. Do you think you have enough support to get that passed? Well, think about the history of Guantanamo Bay. That relationship goes back to 1903. That has been a very strategic location for the United States for a lot of reasons. Uh, one is for narcotics introduction, in interdiction and intelligence. So it, it plays a very, very important role for the United States strategically. But second, now the, the Gitmo facility where we lock up the terrorists is very important long term. So, you know, currently there's already law in place. The president cannot move prisoners to the United States without congressional approval. It's prohibited by law. So he'd be breaking the law if he does it. And the Congress will stand firm against this president. And furthermore, I think this is infrastructure and a facility that we need to keep long term because this war on terror, this battle that we face against radical Islam is not going away. This is a battle our children and unfortunately, I believe even our grandchildren will be fighting. And we need a facility to take these terrorists, lock them up so they never see the light of day again. Steve, one final question before we go. The president is going to visit the Castro brothers, going to make a visit to Cuba. Do you worry? that he might try to usurp his rightful privilege and try to just hand uh, Gitmo back to the Cubans without proper approval? With this president, you remain worried on every front in terms of his executive overreach, his abuse of power, his complete disregard of the Constitution, and the Article II powers that are clearly, clearly laid out in our Constitution are something this president continues to violate. So, yes, I'm worried. We'll continue to be worried until this president is no longer in office in January 2017. Senator Steve Daines tonight from the Hart Senate Office Building in Washington. Steve, you have our thanks. Back with more right after this.